Hi, I'm Sandy and I normally run the YouTube channel Sandy Makes Sense, but today I'm taking over Love in London from Jess to talk to you about coffee. Coffee has come a very long way in London. It used to be okay to drink instant coffee, but nowadays Londoners queue for hours to get that caffeine hit from their favorite shop in town. I am one of them, so today I'm showing you my favorite and in my opinion, the coolest coffee shops in our beautiful city. Let's start with Flat White. It's an unassuming coffee shop in the heart of Soho. Founded in 2005, Flat White is one of the earliest contributors to London's now thriving coffee scene. Artisan style coffee from Australia and New Zealand inspired the founders. I had a Flat White and the owner explained to me that a proper Flat White can only be served in a six ounce cup and always contains a double shot of espresso and microphone milk. It makes it stronger and less frothy. When I had my first job in the city five years ago, I came here every morning and I felt super cool. And I have to say, it still has exactly that vibe today. I often get asked, Sandy, why do you like London so much? And I always give the same answer because of its diversity. Hermanos Colombian Coffee Roasters is the perfect example for that. As soon as you step into the coffee shop, you have immediately escaped East London's wonderful madness and feel like you have just traveled to South America. I always order a V60 drip coffee, which takes a lot of care and time, but I guarantee you it is the smoothest coffee in all of London. London. And the best part for me is the excellent music. You can always enjoy your coffee whilst listening to some Latin tunes and chatting to the super friendly staff. This is the Watch House. I actually once went on a date here, but let's just say that the coffee was much better than the date. What always stands out for me, despite the excellent coffee of course, is the design. It's so cozy and welcoming and I know that the Watch House really put a lot of effort into making each of their branches super unique. I could see a lot of attention to detail and not to mention the fireplace. It's also amazing for food. Their most popular snack is the halloumi wrap, which was just the perfect addition to my cappuccino with oat milk. Caffeine. Now, I am not saying that Caffeine have an actual fan club, although they might have, but you don't just visit Caffeine, you go with purpose. And your purpose is to talk to each other while sitting on a flat white and having bread with homemade jam, most likely. It's fabulous. Caffeine don't have Wi-Fi. They encourage people to chat to each other and I honestly love that. My favorite seat is by the window and I once came here during my lunch break with my colleague and we talked so much we totally forgot got the time. Oh and don't worry, if you end up liking caffeine as much as me, they have t-shirts. Do you know what an espresso martini is? And if yes, did you know that it was invented in London? It might as well have been invented at Hackney Coffee Company, as they serve one of the best. Essentially, it's an espresso-based alcoholic drink and it's one of London's most popular cocktails, if you ask me. Hackney Coffee Company also stand out for their interior design. It changes every few months and it never fails to amaze me. Sometimes it's orange trees and sometimes it's, well, pink and purple things that look really cool. A lot of shoots for my Instagram profile have been held here, that is for sure. And now, cheers guys. Thank you so much for watching and for more London and travel tips you can click the video that's popping up below and you can watch my personal channel Sandy Makes Sense and comment below how you like your coffee.